Pressure is the inherent property of all fluids. It is defined as force applied perpendicular to the surface per unit area over which the force is exerted. It has many units, but its SI unit is Pascal, which is defined as one unit of force acting over one square meter of area. It has various other units like atmosphere, bar, millimeters of mercury, centimeters of mercury, etc. It depends on the profession and the people using it. Now, coming to, the, coming to our experiments, fluid pressure is the pressure within the fluid. It, these, the concept of fluid pressure is attributed to the experiments conducted by Blaise Pascal and Daniel Bernoulli. The laws of liquid pressure, it states that pressure at a point inside liquid increases with, in, with, the, with the increase in depth from free surface of the fluid. It increases with the density of fluid. It is same in all directions about a point within the liquid. It is same at all points in a horizontal plane at a given depth. The first law of liquid pressure. The pressure at a point inside liquid increases with the increase in the depth from free surface of the liquid. The pressure at any point in the liquid at rest is obtained by hydrostatic law. The rate of increase of pressure in a vertically downward direction must be equal to the specific weight of the fluid at that point. Here, in this setup, the equipments used are a YouTube manometer with one end exposed to atmosphere, other is connected to the funnel. Colored water is used as manometric fluid. When both ends are exposed to atmosphere, we can see that both the arms show equal reading. Now, when the end connected to funnel is dipped in water, there is slight increase in the height in one of the arms of manometer. When the depth is increased, we can see that the, the liquid level in manometer increases further. This demonstrates the first law of liquid pressure. The, the pressure increases with the increase in the depth from free surface of the liquid. This is the experiment to demonstrate second law of liquid pressure, which states that pressure at a point inside a liquid increases with the increase in the density of fluid. Here, we have three manometers having equal level of fluids showing the reading 8. And we are using three sample fluids. One, glycerin. Two, water. Three, gasoline. Now, the arm of first manometer is dipped in glycerin which has specific gravity of 1.26. We can see the fluid level increasing up to 11. Now, the second manometer, its arm is dipped in water with specific gravity 1. We can see the fluid level raising up to 10. Now, the arm of third manometer is dipped in gasoline with specific gravity 0.74. The fluid level increases up to 9.5. So, the glycerin which has highest specific gravity gives the highest pressure and gasoline with least specific gravity has least pressure. So, this proves the second law of liquid pressure stating the pressure at a point inside liquid increases with the increase in density of fluid. Pressure at a point inside a liquid is same in all directions about a given point within the liquid. It is same at all points in a horizontal plane at a given depth. Now, let's immerse the funnel into a liquid. Without changing the height, by adjusting it to a particular height, let's slowly change the orientation of the funnel. We don't see any increase or decrease in fluid level in the arm of manometer. Now, at, at the same height, let's rotate the funnel about certain point without changing the height. Again, the result remains the same. There is no increase or decrease in the height of fluid in manometer arm. So this proves third and fourth law of liquid pressure.